In this video, I want to share with you how I make this definition design. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand platforms. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. So before I share with you how I make this design on Photoshop, let's just do a quick sales update. So yesterday, I did 10 sales and did $29 in royalties. Today, I'm at five sales at $11.88 in royalties. It is only 12.37 p.m. in the afternoon, so hopefully get some more sales and get back up to where I was doing a few days ago, which was around 20 sales and $60 in royalties. But that is going to put me at $374 for the month. Um, and so that's where I'm at so far. If you want to follow me on Instagram where you get my daily sales updates, uh, the link is in the description. I post my daily sales. I also post my sales from Etsy as well gym pics, entrepreneur pics, and just some photos of my life down here in Mexico. So if you're interested in that, link is in the description. But now let's go ahead and get into the content of this video. Let me show you how I make that defi definition design. Now, the defi definition design style is probably one of my best um, styles for getting sales on Merch by Amazon. The thing that I really like about it is that it's very versatile. You can use it for a lot of niches. So I use it a lot for like uh, career or like profession niches, you know, certain types of jobs. I also use it with a lot of like um, uh, demographic, like mom plus any type of sport. So like hockey mom, um, baseball, well, I think baseball mom is um, trademark, but like maybe like football mom, things like that, you know, hockey dad, baseball dad. Um, those are some two good niches I use this for. But if we just type into definition into Amazon, we're going to see what some of the designs look like. And some of them are good, but some of them are not that good. It can be improved on. Um, so I want to show you what has worked for me to get sales with this design style. And like I said, you can use this for a lot of niches. You can even use this for trending niches. If something pops off in the news or if uh, you know, a holiday is coming up, you can probably find a niche that will work with it as well. But I decided to use Para Pro for the example because this niche is kind of new, um, at least for me. I've seen it's been getting a lot of traction. I have never really heard of it before. I had to Google it. Um, I'm in Mexico, so that's why it's probably showing this in Spanish. But you can just do a quick Google search to find out. I believe it's someone that works like several different types of jobs, like in the school. So maybe in the school, um, you know, niche. So maybe like uh, a librarian, teacher, et cetera, things like that. Um, I could be wrong. Just double check. But that's what I want to use for this example. So what we want to do is we just want to go to Photoshop. And I'm going to use Photoshop because that's what I use. For, uh, that's the software that I use to make my designs. Uh, this is what is, I already made one right here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new file. And I like to have it at 4500 and 5400 using a black background. Just going to hit create. And then the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the uh, Para Pro text. Now, one thing that I will mention that it's very important, the font that you use and also that you use all lowercase because that's going to make it look more like a definition. Uh, like if we go back to this one right here, where was it? Like this one right here. Like this is, you know, it's way too big. This, this, in my opinion, this doesn't really look good. Um, it does have some sales, but I think this can be improved on. So let me show you uh, the way I like to do it. So I'm just going to go and get that word right here, Power Pro. Copy that, and I'm going to go back to Photoshop, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Now I do want to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to go to the Move tool, and then I'm going to hit Command T. And that will uh, basically select it all. And then you can just kind of drag it like that to kind of make it bigger. You can also just hit the T button. So it goes to text, copy it, and then you can, let me just move this down. And you can right here, you can make it bigger or smaller. I was on Photoshop for like two years and never even knew that you can do it that way. So uh, that's just a little tip right there in case you didn't know. So now you want to make it kind of big so that it takes up a lot of the space so that people can actually read or see it. When they're scrolling through uh, Amazon. Now, since this is a t-shirt, it's not like wall art, you know, we want to have it kind of high at the top here. So that's going to be good right there. And now we want to get the way that it is said, uh, like in the dictionary. So if we go back to here, we want to get this text right here. And this is kind of the secret for these designs. What you want to do is you want to go to uh, Google and you want to look up any type of definition or dictionary uh, website. So right here, I'm on dictionary.com. You can go to this website right here and let me just reload it real quick. Okay, so it has reloaded. And when you're on this website, what you can do is you can just basically just type in any word. And when you type it in, it's going to show you how you actually pronounce it. And all you have to do is just copy and paste this right here. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste that. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back to 
um, Photoshop. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that the uh, the font style is also very important. So what you want to use is you want to use Times New Roman. And I believe that uh, when you have Photoshop, this just that font comes with Photoshop. I don't think you have to like search for it or download it or upload it into Photoshop. So this is the font that I'm using, Times New Roman. Times New Roman. Now remember, you want everything to be lowercase, which it actually already is. Now I'm going to get rid of that space there and get rid of that space there. Whoops, I think I deleted it. Let's go back like that. And we want to maybe make it just a little bit smaller because we don't want it to take too much attention. We want the Pyro Professional to kind of be the main attraction. And then we're just going to drag that up like this, get it nice and well uh, aligned. Let me just make sure that I'm doing everything right. Okay, there we go. And then we want to make it italic. So we're going to copy it like this. And where is italic? I believe you can just go Command I. Oh, no, nope, I'm wrong. So if you click on A right here, this is probably where you can do it. So huh, for some reason, I can't find it. Let's give me a second here. Okay, so I found it. It's just right up here. You go to the font, regular, and you're just going to click that down arrow, and you can click on italic. It's going to make it nice and italic style. Now what we want to do is we want to make this little uh, white bar, basically. And you can make this for white t-shirts or black t-shirts. All you're going to have to do is just basically change the color of the text and this white little line. So the way that you can do this, and there's probably other ways to do this. This is just the way that I do it. So I go up to this uh, tool right here, the rectangular marquee tool. I'll just click on that. And then what I'll do is I'll just make a small little line. You don't want to go too fat like that. You just want to go not something nice and skinny. Make it go all the way. And then you want to go up to Layer. Click on New Fill Layer. Go to Solid Color. Hit OK. And then you just want to, you can change the tally color. So you can go black, blue, or white. White looks good. That might even be too thick, but I think it'll work. Um, so no big deal there. Now what we want to do is we want to get the actual text. Now for these type of like career designs, I think that this text is pretty good. One who solves problems you did not know exist in ways you did not understand. Now you can change this and come up with your own like funny definition if you want. Um, if you're going to do like a dad, um, like a, a baseball dad uh, design, you would probably do something more like um, like a regular dad but only cooler. That's very popular. Or like a regular dad but cooler and more attractive. I've also seen that one as well. So you can just kind of come up with your own definition here. But for the for this example, I'm just going to use this one right here because I think it works well with the niche. So I'm just going to copy that text, come back over here, and I'm going to hit the T tool. Click the mouse pad. And I'm going to copy and paste that. Now this looks a little too big, so I'm just going to copy all the text, come up here, and just make it just a little bit smaller. Hit the Move tool, and I'm just going to move it up like this. Okay, and then the next part is we want to get the C also, which is, you know, we want to basically look in as much like a definition as possible. So I'm just going to hit the T button, and I'm going to copy all this. Now if you're making this, you would just type this in, since I already have it done. And I'm going to go back to the design, and I'm going to click the mouse pad again hit uh, paste and I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller because I don't want it too big and like that and I'm going to move it over now just to make sure that everything is aligned correctly I'm just going to hit command on a Mac and I'm going to select or click on all the uh, layers except for the background and I'm going to go over here make sure that that the mouse tool or the move tool is selected and I just want to click on this button right here, align left edges. And that will just make sure that everything is exactly aligned. And so that is basically it right there. So what do you guys think? It's pretty easy to do. And what's cool about this is you don't need like, um, you know, you don't need any clip art. You don't need to go to Creative Fabrica. There's no cost, basically. You don't have to, you know, pay for any type of basically clip art. You just need a, um, you know, subscription with Photoshop, which is like 10 bucks a month. But you can get a nice design like this. And basically what you could do is you can just scale this. So you can make one uh, design and then just switch out for every type. So maybe you do like a, you know, um, chiropractor, doctor, nurse, etc. You know, there's so many different type of professions, um, but you, it's very scalable. And I would actually maybe just move this just down just a little bit. Oh, well, I can't because I have to go like this, zoom in, and just kind of just do a little touch up like that. Okay, but there we go. So that's basically it right there. And then you would just get rid of the background. 
you're going to go up to actually one thing I want to do because it's just I'm just kind of a little OCD with this kind of stuff I want it to get it as close to the top as possible so that looks good on merch and then also I want to make it big so I'm just going to hit command T for all of it and then I can make it as big as possible or as small okay there we go I think that looks good and there we go now we're done so then we would just go ahead and we would just save the design but that is how you do it right there and then you just pop it into merch and you would basically just upload it um, and you type in obviously you know the keywords titles things like that but I just want to show you how I make this design style because you know this design style has been around for a long time and it sells and it is going to continue to sell today and in the future and you can use this for a lot of different niches like I said it's very versatile and we can also use it for um, upcoming niches as well um, trending niches holiday niches things like that so that is a little design tutorial that I have for you today comment below what you think Do you want to see more design tutorials I made one the other day for like the wavy font but it didn't really get that many views so I'm thinking not too many people liked it I guess people want more of like the trending niches but you guys let me know in the comments um, but that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you want to learn how I make uh, sales like this on a daily basis, I got two links in the description to some of my courses. They're both on Udemy. They're only $19.99. They come with a 30 day back money guarantee. Um, they're good for beginners or for people who are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. And then also, if you are looking for like niches or just more um, evergreen niches, trending niches, niches that are the, kind of like outside of the box, if you don't know what to design for, basically, check out my YouTube channel. I got a whole bunch of videos talking about trending niches, uh, things like that. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.